آزادی بیان یعنی لون زیو فری سپیچ How important do you think that fact checking or that both sides so to speak agree on a certain set of facts is mm. to mere civility? I this is an you know, this is an argument I'm attuned to and I can see the attraction of sort of saying well can't we build in certain evidentiary requirements into the standards of civility. Um, no. <laughs> no is the answer. Um, for, for the reasons that make me skeptical of the impartial regulation of civility generally, I think that what constitutes a fact is part of, the, part of what's, under, what's under debate. And I think you can recognize that without then being committed to the kind of anti-foundationalist or sort of, you know, just nihilist position that says that there are no facts. I mean, I think that there are facts, but I mean, when I talk about the kind of disagreements, and perhaps it's, it's good to say this here, I mean, in the book I'm concerned with a particular sort of set of disagreements, what yeah. I call fundamental disagreements, which um, are questions of believing and belonging that sort of go to the heart of, of how we see the world and how we see Um, ourselves and others um, in relation to the world and, and questions of fact and facticity are, are always going to be in play in those. And of course in the context that you write it's a kind of an extreme case so to speak which is all three writers are largely talking about 17th century theology so the potentially the, the extent of disagreement is far more fundamental than we have today? No. <laughs> um, yes and no. Okay. I think that remembering the context wherein these theorists are theorizing civility is essential and noticing that the kind of paradigmatic fundamental disagreement they have in mind is a religious disagreement. Yeah. Um, and to say it's a religious disagreement, I mean some of those are theological, some of them are ecclesiological, some of them, right. you know, there are all sorts of things that might come under the rubric of a religious disagreement in that period. Okay, yeah. Um, But I mean, it's it's a good example because I mean, let's so let's let's say, well, what's the early modern equivalent of the kind of fact-checking criteria? And well, it's the sort of say, well, you know, we have to agree on scripture yes, yeah. as the ground on which we're going to resolve that. So, I can point you to the debates that show that that solves exactly nothing. Um, <laughs> yes, yeah. So the the um, we I suppose it's very easy to get in a muddle about what we actually mean by facts and who says right and who who's the fact credentialing authority right. I mean, for Hobbes, this is why he thinks that we have to have a national church that determines what is canonical yes, yes. with regard to scripture. I mean, so think about, I mean, so, you know, think of the Church of England and that argument as equivalent to factcheck.org. Yes, you know? yeah. Um, I think right. that it, it's slightly old, yes. <laughs> with the advantage of historical perspective, we can kind of see the problem more clearly than we can perhaps um, in, in, in our own case. But then this sort of second point that you made that the, perhaps the, the disagreements are more fundamental. I, I wouldn't say so. I think that one of the things that you know, drew me to the project initially was just noticing how, um, how like religious sects, um, political parties can operate. Yeah. Um, in terms of this dynamic of believing and belonging. I mean, it once tempted to make the joke, you know, that's made of academia, right? Say that the, the feuds are so bitter because the stakes are so small. I mean, <laughs> yeah. there's a way in which you can sort of look at partisan disagreements in the United States and say, oh, we agree on so much. Mm -hmm. You know, these are really small things yes, that are dividing yeah. us, but it doesn't matter that they're small. The, the, the feeling office, that they're yeah. fundamental mm -hmm. um, is what matters. Uh, and so there, there again, I would, I would say that we can exaggerate the kind of distance. Free speech.